Hi everyone, this is just a short video to guide you through the process of installing Godot. Now I'm on a Mac and I know about half of you are also on a Mac and half of you are on Windows, but I thought a simple walkthrough at least on one operating system would be helpful. So you can see here I have a nice clean desktop and what I need to do is go to the Godot website and download the application. So in my browser, I already have it loaded here, but you can see it's Godot Engine dot org and on the landing page you'll see lots of lots of options but what we want here is download so i'm going to click on download it automatically detects that i'm on a mac so i'm on the mac os tab windows is right here or if anyone is on linux now interestingly there are actually two versions of godot for mac there's the standard version and the mono version there's not that big of a difference except that the mono version supports the programming language c sharp which we won't be using so all we need is the standard version so I'm going to be downloading the standard version, which is 64-bit. Now, on the Windows side, it's a touch more complicated. There's also the standard version and the mono version, but you have within each version a 64-bit version and a 32-bit. Unless you know otherwise, you should just go ahead and download the 64-bit version. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version, and you can see Chrome has begun the download and it comes down pretty fast. It's not very big file. I have it set up so it's on my desktop. I recognize that it's a .zip file, so I need to unzip or uncompress this file. And when I do that, out pops the Godot.app. We're gonna be using this the whole semester, so I'm actually going to install it as an application. So in Finder, I am going to click on Applications, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into that folder. Now, let's see what happens when I double click this. When I double click, my computer is going to ask me, it says, hey, Godot.app is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And so this is just kind of a security warning. And then I want to say, yes, I want to open this. And when I do that, I get the project manager view of the Godot engine. Right away, you can see this is a window that just I can move around, I can resize. If I don't want it, I can close it. But it's asking me a question because this is the first time I'm running it. You don't currently have any projects. Would you like to explore the official example projects in the asset library? For our purposes, we don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Now, this is the view that we are going to use in order to create new projects and or actually import existing projects. But I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. That's all for this video. Thanks, and let me know if you have any questions.